some that were cute. So I thought what we need now is to do something educational. So I have designed the next four minutes to make your life an easier place. So please pay very close attention. This is a little instructional guide that I like to call why that's better why you should never date an artist a guide to some of those that you should avoid in the creative universe starting with one Conceptual artists. Their art is the only true art in our postmodern age. They'll give you credit for respecting their work because you must be truly visionary to get it. But then they'll also make you feel like your work is less meaningful because it's more light or more humorous or, God forbid, commercial. Yet they will become hugely successful going to these fabulous parties where they hang out with peaches and fantasize about motherhood together. They'll say that parties are part of work. Stop inviting you before leaving you for one of the fabulous people at the fabulous parties. Two, musicians. Oh, they're in an intense relationship already with their instruments. They will either be in so many bands that their time is insanely stretched, or they'll be in a band that you refer to as the band. And if you ever dare say, it's me or the band, the answer is more likely to be the band than you. The connection with the band makes you jealous, so you go to as many gigs as you can until you know the set as well, if not better than the band who sometimes are so drunk they can just about remember the songs. And then they'll be touring, and they'll be that one girl after that one gig. Or maybe they'll be a few girls after a few gigs. And after many girls, and many gigs, and many tours, your musician will leave you for one of them, or for the band. Three, poets. Oh my dears, steer well clear. They're dreamy, they're moody, they're intense. Or, if you're really lucky, they're all these things at once. <laughs> they feed on the highs and lows of human emotion, but then they are charming in this way that curls around your skin. But they're all alcoholics, worse than the musicians. Seriously, they definitely drink more than you. But you love words, and they make them sound so hot. And they are all fantastic in bed, so much so you forget the flaws, thinking I can work around them. But the mood swings, the jealousy, the intensity will haunt you between those multi-orgasmic sexual marathons. And then one day your poet receives a compliment from someone who makes the conscious decision to go to a spoken word event, who tells poet, oh, your work is awesome, I've seen you a few times. Poet takes her number, maybe even oh, takes it further, and then when you next see them, they'll say they can't handle being in a relationship. It's draining, it's affecting their writing, they've stopped writing, they need to be on their own and focus. And then, when you next see them, you'll see that yes, they can handle being in a relationship, but the girl they make that exception for will not be you. So, you've had enough. You go on a date with an accountant. You go on a date with a brain surgeon. You go on a date with a social worker, but it's not working. You're gonna give up altogether until you meet the web developer who's chilled out and totally into you, who may be able to make you a website. <gasps> it's almost too good to be true! But you miss having debates about, I don't know, Turner Prize winners, and one night didn't you wish that they would suggest a book for you to read for change? Um, you invite them to go to Wolfgang Tillman show at the Tate, but they don't want to go. So you go on your own and sit by yourself in the cafe. And then the person sitting next to you says, what are you writing in your notebook? You're all, oh, what are you drawing in yours? But honestly, you didn't see it coming. 
Before you know it, it's the sixth time you're meeting. You spend late night after late night in some French wine bar, trading opinions on everything from, from Dadaism to Bauhaus architecture. You're both crazy about Bukowski and Baldwin, but unconvinced by Laurie Anderson. And before you know it, you've left the web developer for an illustrator. <laughs> and the affair doesn't last, but who cares? Because now you know you are doomed to keep dating artists. Thank you, I am Paula Varjak. very quickly that I am Paula Varjak. Varjak is spelled like carjack, but with a V. And you can find me on paulavarjak.com. Enjoy the rest of Write It, Mike It. Thank you. Is it for you? Is this sharing you? Uh, it's going to be when right. it's posted and it's supposed to be coming, but they're not here yet.